Sup, devils? Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we're talking about random topics. We're gonna do a new series, just chatting about stuff. If there's any topics you want me to talk about, let me know down below, because that's what the comment box is for. Bitch about stuff. Tell me what you want me to talk to you about. And the topic of today's video is liking what you like, trying not to be influenced, and just you know, having a good time. So the main thing is not being influenced by other people with what you like because it's your life, it's your ears, and it's your time. So any outside influence, it's good in moderation. You can take what people are saying. If someone's recommending a good album, someone's recommending a good band or a good artist, you can take what they're saying, you can listen to it, but it doesn't mean you have to fucking go along with what they're saying. If it's shit, if you think it's shit, you, you don't have to enjoy it just because other people are enjoying it. You don't have to like it just because your parents like it. You don't have to like it just because your friends like it or because some assholes on the internet. Some fucking asshole reviewer on the internet is giving it a five star. If I give, case in point, my latest Ahab review, give it like a nine out of ten, because uh, I do stuff out of ten, not out of fives. Um, nine out of ten, that doesn't mean you're going to like it. If you don't like Funeral Doom, there's a good chance you won't like the album at all. So me giving something a 9 out of 10 means fucking shit to most people. Only the select few who like that genre. And hey, that's not saying don't check it out. I implore everyone to check out as much music as you can. Because you don't know if you hate it until you actually listen to it. So always give something a try. Even if it's a band you're not really that into because they could surprise you. There's been a couple of bands I've listened, I've not really liked, but I've listened to a, a new album by them and I've been pleasantly surprised. A couple of them. So always give stuff a chance. Always try something out. But don't go along with the masses. Don't go along with the sheep. And don't go along with the reviewers. Any fucking Tom, Dick and Harry can say an album's good. Doesn't mean it is to you. There's no such thing as objectivity in music. It's all subjective. It's all art. It's all subjective. One painting could be, you know, the Mona Lisa to one person or a pile of steaming shit to another. It, it, it doesn't matter. And if someone hates something that you enjoy, who fucking cares? Water off a duck's ass. Water off a duck's ass. Don't get too invested in it. It doesn't affect your enjoyment just because you enjoy, say, I quite like Still Life by Opeth. Someone says it's too pretentious, too proggy, it's just boring elevator music. I might have a quick reaction of like, what? But then, who cares? <laughs> I'm still going to listen to it. I'm still going to enjoy it. You saying you don't like it doesn't mean shit to me. So this whole video is basically about being true to yourself and being true to your tastes. Especially with rankings and bands you like. So, for instance, there's a lot of times... People will say they enjoy an album the best, but really, they don't. They enjoy an album that's a bit more underrated, that's a bit more vilified in the community, but they won't speak up, they won't say it, they won't be true to themselves. Um, Casey, I've done this before. I've fucking done this before. I did it with my At The Gates ranking, which I've talked about before, and I've re-ranked them. I, I said Slaughter of the Souls the best. This is like a year ago, two years ago, my ranking. But it's not, really. To me, it's not. I just did that because that's the general consensus of people say it's the best. I'm listening to it thinking, oh, it should be the best. But really, to my ears, it's not the best. So loads of people are going to fucking shout at me in the comments for this one. And you feel free to do that. You can fucking disagree all you want. I don't give a shit. But yeah, being true to myself, I re-ranked it. And I was like, yeah, it's about mid for me. Um, I do prefer like the early stuff. I do prefer the very first album. I do prefer the later stuff, the more doomy stuff, because I like my Insomniums, I like my Catatonias, I, I like depressing ass fucking doom metal, and that's what At the Gates has become, like this more melodic, kind of doomy approach, and I kind of like that a bit more. Uh, it might not be to most people's taste, but it is to mine, so I re-ranked it. So always be true to yourself, don't just go with the masses. If loads of people say this album's the best, give it a listen, but don't just change your own viewpoint because the masses think it's the best. You know, don't change your views to suit the masses. And don't be influenced by your friends or your parents. If your parents are putting on something and say, you need to listen to this, you've got to love this, you don't have to love it. If your friends love something, you don't have to love it. Like my friends. My friends don't like Funeral Doom. 
Funeral Doom's my favourite genre, and so is Black Metal. They don't like either of that. Does that bother me? Fuck no, it doesn't. Fuck no. You wouldn't have any friends if you went around like that. Like, some people not wanting to like girlfriends because they don't listen to metal and st shit like that. That's some pussy shit. You know, not everyone's going to like it. In fact, a majority don't. A majority don't. And who cares? You know? Who cares? Life's too short to worry about stupid shit like that. Like, well, it, it's, it's music. It's not fucking life or death situation. <laughs> People make it like, a bigger thing than it should be. You can love it. You can get all the fucking vinyls and show it on your walls and fucking go, go fucking nuts. Go all the tickets. But it doesn't mean you have to drag them into it. And it doesn't mean you have to be influenced by what they love as well. If they love some Nicki Minaj and some Cardi B and shit, fair enough. Whatever doesn't mean I'm going to love it. But yeah, another good one is, you know, reviewers, influencers, people on, on review sites and shit like that. Uh, Banger TV, Metal Meltdown, Metal Trenches, fucking whoever. Uh, I know I did the fucking intro, talk about Justin Horvath. Even him, like, he's got some fucking wild ass take. He doesn't give any shit what you think. And I, I kind of respect that, you know. He doesn't give a shit um, what people like. He likes what he likes, which is is exactly the mindset you got to have. But also you got to kind of, you know, explore everything and listen to everything as well to understand if you think something's shit or not. You can't just say it's shit without listening to it. You can't just be a brain dead dummy and not give everything a chance. Always give everything a chance. And if it's shit, it's shit. Tell people it's shit. You know, tell, tell someone it's shit. It doesn't matter. Being true to yourself. Don't be an asshole, but be true to yourself. So that's basically my rant on this one. Try not to be influenced by the masses. Don't change what you like. Don't change what you don't like. That's another big one. Don't change what you don't like. If you don't like something, don't try and fit in. Just, just hate it. Hate it with the rest of it. And if you love something that's underrated, you love something that people shit on, good. That, that's good. You're standing up for it. Stand up for your own views. Stand up for what you like. And that's how the world goes around. Try not to get too triggered when someone hates your stuff. Just brush it off. It's it, like, they don't mean anything to you. You can still coexist with these people, even though you have differing tastes. You can still form friendships with people, even if you have different tastes, which almost everyone has a completely different taste to each other. You might like some stuff, maybe even 99%. 0.9%, but there'll always be a few bands that will you'll disagree on, so don't take it to heart. So yeah, nice little rant video. I thought it'd be fun to just get some stuff off my chest and just rant with you guys. Let me know if you want more videos like this and more chill kind of videos, and if you want more topics, let me know down in the comments below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.